Because I know you're from a musical family, you were saying? Did you say that? A family oh, like music. <laughs> Planet Aviola is a show that I transmit. You didn't catch an episode, let me give a transcript. Music, comedy, interviews, news. Plus that cat Kwame and all these dope shoes. How could we lose? You could pick, you could choose. Anyone else, but you gotta dream bigger and love yourself. You gotta dream bigger and Yay. love yourself. And love yourself. And love yourself. You know, then we'll figure out the rest later, all right? Hey people, it's me, Abiola, and I, maybe let me let you in on a little something. I'm a complete fashionista. I love all things clothing. I can't stay away from Vogue magazine. A lot of people hate window shopping, um, but I actually love window shopping. I love shopping on eBay. I love shopping anywhere. So I couldn't resist when my producer set me up with this interview to talk to this wonderful designer who is in the world of staying green. But I got here and she told me that she's not actually a designer. She's a creative ecologist. Confused? Me too. All right, her name is Jill Danielle. We're in her beautiful studio in East Village of New York City, and we're gonna talk to her now. Hello, Jill. Hello. What brought you, well, first let's talk about your interest in fashion and the title Creative Ecologist. What does that mean? Well, um, I guess I came up with that because I felt like I had to come up with something mm -hmm. and um, <laughs> it describes kind of what I do. I don't, I don't think of myself as a traditional designer who's designing a line and manufacturing and selling, um, you know, and I don't think of myself as a photographer or an artist or, you know, all of these things that kind of had things to do with my project. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I, I just try to do creative things centered around ecology and that's, you know, that has some meaning and that makes me happy and so I felt like that was the most succinct way to describe it. No, we're all about people <laughs> choosing the right to define themselves however here on Planet Aviola. Now, for our viewers, what does sustainable mean? Sustainability, sus being sustainable, explain. Some people may not know what that means. Basically, to me, it means kind of treading as lightly as possible. Yeah. And, I mean, to put it very simply, right. um, you know, for some people, they may focus all on just buying organic and new. But for right. me, I really feel like that old mantra, you know, reuse, reduce, recycle can lead to your decisions. And you know, the name of my project was 50RX3 and people are like, why? why? My goal was to be 50% sustainable in everything I wore mm. for a year. Why 50%? Well, A, I'm not perfect and nobody's gonna wanna read about somebody who's like perfect <laughs> every single day, right? And we can make these small choices and, and maybe not all the time be able to make the sustainable mm -hmm. choice, but at least kind of think about, you know, can I get this and, reused or can I recycle something mm -hmm. or how can I reduce my impact can I find this inorganic right that kind it of makes thing. me think of the Native American concept of you know leaving the trying not to to leave the world in a drastically different place Absolutely. than you found it you know, that's that, where that seventh generation have, comes yeah, from that yeah. that term that comes from like a native I believe don't quote me <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit Jill about what you're wearing right now I am wearing um, I made this I for let's see it was fashion week September 2007 so I took an old curtain <laughs> that my friend had and uh, I draped it and cut it and pinned it I didn't even sew it I didn't sew any of it but it was really comfortable I buy it it's very cute it's very cute Now, I was absolutely intrigued with this piece when I came in. It's just a gorgeous piece. And I found out, you know, that this is all made from umbrellas. Tell us yeah. a little bit about this. Um, well, I just, you know, I had the idea. I had seen, actually, somebody else had done a skirt out of um, umbrellas. I, but to me, I could tell that it was... The, I could tell the source, not that it was bad or good. I just right. could tell. And so I kind of wanted to do a dress and really not 
and have people not know right, that it's right. arousal. I'd have to tell people. Um, and I was taking some classes at FIT, draping, pack making, and I needed to do a project. And they wanted cotton, and I just wanted to really own it. And I, this was what I was feeling, and I wasn't really a traditional student, so the grade didn't really matter. And I, one blustery uh, afternoon, <laughs> picked up lots and lots of umbrellas. How many do you think about? Well, I picked up way more than I needed. Um, but <laughs> for the outside, I would say there's probably three, maybe. Okay. Maybe two or three. And then underneath, they're smaller for like a crinoline to keep the poof out. Yes. Maybe another like three or four small ones of the... See, because I watch Project Runway, like I feel like I'm <laughs> secretly Michael Kors. And I'm like, oh, your draping like falls really well. And <laughs> Nina, I think I'm Nina Garcia as well, but I you know, maybe don't even know what I'm talking about. Your pieces yeah. have a name? Like, is this the umbrella dress? This is the umbrella dress, okay, pretty okay. much. Yeah. How long did, did this take you? Oh, wow. It's hard to say. Um, because it's the first thing that I ever made, to be honest. It's okay. so from pattern to, to sewing, uh, and sewing umbrellas is a little tricky. Yeah. So it's really hard to say. What is this, nylon? What, what is I don't this? know what umbrellas are made out of. I really, Propylene or I something don't like know. that? I don't know. I don't know. But it is good because you can just, you know, if you spill your drink on it, <laughs> wipes right off. <laughs> Perfect cocktail dress, literally. <laughs> okay, I am exhausted, but it's only because my brain is buzzing at everything that we learned from creative ecologist Jill Danielle today. I'm actually going to hang around her studio a little bit and see if I can convince her to make me my very own umbrella dress. So I'll keep you posted on that. Meanwhile, you should do what I'm going to do later on, which is look around at my closet and my apartment and my life and think about how I can create a more sustainable lifestyle. Write and tell us at planetabiola.com what you learned. And as we always say, you got to love yourself, love, because if you don't, who will? See you next time. Bye. You're